to heaven, well, anything that goes in the ocean comes back. Right? It returns back to the shore. Well, that's, anyway, it's fixing you all heavy. Here we go. What year is that? 1946. 1946? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's before I went to prison, Alan. See, a lot of people think I went to prison to learn. Both said. I had it before I went. So how old were you, 14? I was 17 or under, no, 16 years old. Not 14, 16. Yeah. It's easy for me. I'm born in 1930, so I can get my years very easy. The earliest public poem I got is 46, also. That's amazing. And that's re- not public. It wasn't, no, it was the first one I ever wrote. Yeah. When was your first baby you ever wrote? Well, when I was eight. Ah, uh, well, you, because you're a sweet little boy. You're brought up in a middle-class society, and they teach your father was a teacher. Mine were dumb wops, man. I didn't get it no way, but uh, somehow, I don't know where. They laid it on you. No, his father is like a middle-class foreman foreman in the French shop. Oh, yeah. He, he worked, he worked, he worked 30, 33 years, Al. Blocking the linings of hats and hats stopped being worn in this country, and you know, and he's been a steady, beautiful man. So the guy made him manager finally after 32 years. All right, let me get this. Anyway, what I mean, the mad yak. Yeah, he dug this one because Jack like I said bought the Zen Buddhism thing, and when he did this, what inspired me uh, for it? I said, oh, if these Buddhists are so great in Tibet, why do they fuck up the yak so much? That poor yak, they use it for everything. So. What I learned about this poem, it's called The Mad Yak. I put myself as being that mad yak, but I made myself a female yak. Here we go. I am watching them churn the last milk they'll ever get from me. They are waiting for me to die. They want to make buttons out of my bones. Where are my sisters and brothers? That tall monk there loading my uncle. He has a new cap. And that idiot student of his, I never saw that muffler before. Poor uncle, he lets them load him. How sad he is, how tired. I wonder what will do with his bones and that beautiful tail. How many shoelaces will they make of that? <laughs>